Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm going to be showing you a quick way of downloading Project Zomboid Steam CMD on your dedicated server. That way you can uh, run it 24-7 without you having to leave your PC on. This requires a actual virtual machine. So if you want to do it on your computer or on a third party, um, it will work. So first, you want to make two folders, one for your Steam CMD and one for your Zomboid server. As you can see, I have my Project Zomboid server right here already that's running. So this one's for the tutorial. You can name this one whatever you want. I just named it this because the tutorial. After you make these two folders, you're going to head to Steam CMD, the website. I'll post it in the description and I'll also post this post uh, paste bin. In the description that way you can follow the tutorial on your own pace if you'd like I describe everything a lot simpler on here so you could do it either way after you download steam it should pop up like this you're gonna need a zip uh, extractor you can either use 7-zip or WinRAR I honestly recommend 7-zip since I use it a lot and it's a lot easier so once you have it here um, you extract it once you extract it, it's gonna have a steam CMD exe you just double click that launch it just let it update real quick I'll be skipping these parts of the video so I can make it a lot faster so once your steam is done extracting you're gonna want to type in login anonymous you can also copy it from the paste bin remember the paste bin is gonna be in the description so make sure to check that out once you type in login anonymous, it should do it like within a couple of seconds. It'll say OK. Now you're going to copy force install direct. Make sure that's your server file name right here in the end where it says Zomboid Tutorial, which is right here. Oh, yeah. Right here. <laughs> so once you have that in, press enter. Sometimes it takes a couple of enters to work, but you'll know it worked when you have a Steam Apps folder right here. So once you have that, then you're going to copy all of this right here. It has to be exactly the same. Copy all of that. And what that's going to do, it's going to activate the multiplayer so you can play online and uh, your server can be found online, basically. So hit enter. And then just let that do its thing. So once that's done, make sure to check your tutorial file make sure all your files are in here you're gonna want to have this file mainly this is how you're gonna launch your server with the server start uh, 64 bat so after that you're basically done with steam cmd you could just close it now um, but something to note is whenever you have to update your game make sure to type this in every time just start up cmd do the do these steps right here and then it'll update your game for you your saves will, will stay like forever from what I've noticed at least but after that you're gonna want to port forward your server if you want it to be uh, seen and uh, a lot of people to join this is a way to port forward it with a 16 slot server this is how I have my main server so I can do a tutorial on port forwarding if you guys want me to but for now since we want to keep the video short we're not gonna do that so say we're done with the port forwarding now you have to just launch your server pretty much and if you want to find the save files then you will go to local C drive users uh, administrator and then you'll see a zomboid folder right here it has all of your saves where you will add your mods uh, is in the server which is here but if you guys still need any more help, make sure to join my Discord down below. I can answer any questions or just help you in general. You can also ask me or anybody else in there. Some people have experience on how to set it up as well. So, yeah, let me know. We also run a dedicated server on a virtual machine. So if you want to join that, it's private. It's easy to get into. You just join the Discord. Um, you can team up with anybody inside the voice channels or anything like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 